All right, now 923. You were a bit early to what caught my eye this morning, but you know what? I'm fair with that. And I, I love Colorado. Let me just start with that before showing this video. And I love when you send us videos like this. A viewer shared a video of a herd of deer just casually strolling down the street near uh, Mesa Ridge Apartments and found them. I want to see we, it. Do we have that video? Uh-oh, yeah, you're showing my video. surprise. All right, so <laughs> look, I've constantly got deer in my yard, but that doesn't stop me from running to the window, grabbing the kids, <laughs> taking photos. But look at the rack on this one, Katie, that's yeah. coming up here in a second. <laughs> um, my brother-in-law, big into hunting, so he has to describe this to me, I know, a little bit. This is a bachelor group. You see a lot of males traveling in okay. groups this time of year. Uh, as the females take care of their babies and do all the hard work, the males just kind of strut around town. So uh, all all male deer here as they just kind of <laughs> hang out in the fountain area. But thanks for sharing the video with yes, us. Love it. Yes, we love that. I've okay. seen sometimes when they have the velvet ears yeah. or the antlers and year. before they, yeah. Now to a very important part of Caught My Eye. It is Tony's birthday. Oh, we are oh, celebrating. Oh, <laughs> little Tony. <laughs> this is little Tony. Today we're celebrating Tony Keith. His birthday was actually yesterday. Thankfully, he was off this weekend to celebrate oh, with no. his beautiful family. Today we are <laughs> celebrating here in the newsroom and a huge shout out. Tony wears a million hats in our newsroom. Sydney knows this. Oh, yeah. He is the guy in charge of our website, our social media, the one you're talking to when you message us most of the time. Oh. And he always handles like 100 different stories and tips that come into our newsroom every day. I'm not exaggerating. So, Tony Keith, we got you Aww. cupcakes. Oh, my gosh, look at these. Complete with dinosaur rings. Oh. You know me so well. And chocolate cupcakes. And yeah. I even paid 10 cents for you to have a bag. <laughs> but the thing oh, there's is, more. there's more. The thing is, you guys, yes. Tony does not eat any of this stuff that's happening right, right here. So we got you bananas for your birthday. Okay. I'm genuinely excited he, because our bananas are bad at my house right now. I had to show my, I'm not joking. I showed my wife, I was like, sweetie, we got really bad bananas. Thank your you. wife is the best, oh. yes. We buy sweets, Tony doesn't touch it. No. He's too healthy. Oh. So you get the bananas, Tony. Thank you. And if you want to treat yourself, you can. Might, Today's the day. Might, yeah. well, so you can just take them home for your kids. Yes. Yeah. Thank you take guys. Them to your kiddos. Very nice. Happy birthday, Tony. Thanks for all you do. Oh. Yes. Right. We appreciate you. All right, this caught my eye this morning. The Powerball jackpot is an estimated $650 million with no winners since April. Someone in Colorado won a million dollars in Saturday night's drawing. Uh, we're working to find out where that ticket was sold. How cool, we, we guys, We just in found Colorado. out. Yes, Elizabeth. Tony. So I reached Elizabeth. out to Colorado Lottery. So if you know okay. somebody who traveled through Elizabeth Ooh. and bought a Powerball ticket, yep. uh, talk to them because I don't <laughs> think anybody's claimed it just yet. Okay, and the next drawing is tonight, so you still have time. What would you do with the money? $650 million after taxes? Like or like what's the first thing million. you would buy? I yeah. would buy a pony. A pony? Yes. Like mini pony or Well, a I don't know. Maybe a couple. Okay. I feel like that's like a down payment on a house right now. So that's it. It wouldn't even buy me a full some, house. Some real estate in Colorado, <laughs> maybe. Oh, there you go. Well, hey, let us know what you'd do with the money or email us your ideas. Guess my age if you want. Uh, news at kktv.com. Tell us what caught your eye. Oh, thank you, Katie, but nowhere close to 25. <laughs> we'll be right back after the break with more news.